we conclude this lesson somehow from where uh, we departed with. So we saw that there are many uh, definitions of stock of uh, natural resources. The question is, we are using these resources. Do we have any indications if these resources are becoming scarcer, scarcer for uh, uh, the utilization by the human economic system? And this is something, a question that uh, we can say that is old like the civilization itself. But in modern times in particular, it went with very strong energy during the so-called oil crisis of the 70s. And we already discussed the, the, the limit to grow that put a very strong emphasis on, uh, on, um, on scarcity of natural resources. And then again, just yesterday, a few years ago, at the beginning of the 21st centuries, we had again very high prices again of raw materials and the issue went on again. So because in general within specific natural resources there are a lot of uh, uh, substitution possibilities, the, the question is more in general if the economic system is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, depending from uh, natural resources that are in general uh, becoming more uh, more scarce and uh, we will see some indications of possible scarcity of natural resources and then we will conclude to see that asking this question if natural resources are becoming scarce is a bit closer to those that we just saw if the Otani rule is empirically valid or not. One obvious way to look for an indicator of scarcity is to look at the stock of uh, the natural resource and uh, in particular did what, do what we did at the beginning of this lesson to look at the reserve to consumption ratio, how much there is in physical times of the resource available compared with how much we are uh, we are uh, using of it and this is the approach used in the in the limits to go unfortunately there are a lot of limitations of this approach firstly before because new resources can be uh, found uh, every every time there are new discoveries and uh, this means that this physical measure that we have now may not be a good indicator of scarcity. And for example, again, the, the, the new, uh, even new, new extra way of to extract the, a, a resource, the schist oil is a good example. Before it wasn't considered a resource for fossil fuels, the new technique of uh, uh, extracting the resource, hallowed that resource, to be considered as as a resource for fossil fuels and so to increase the the no resources. A different indicator that we could use to look for scarcity of a non-renewable resource is uh, the uh, extraction, the marginal extraction cost. As we noticed uh, when we build our uh, models, the uh, extraction uh, cost will depend from the level of uh, uh, the uh, resource we, we extract, but also from the stock of capital, that is more uh, the uh, stock of natural resource, that is uh, more uh, uh, the natural resource become uh, uh, scarce, higher will be to the, the real cost to, uh, to extract the, the resource. And this idea is somehow, uh, it has been used to build some indicator of scarcity based on the uh, extraction cost. And in particular in this study uh, of Barnett and, and Morse, this, it has been trying to look if the extraction cost in real terms based on, on uh, aggregation of labor and capital 
in uh, uh, relation with the output of the production of the extraction in the industry has been increasing or not in the past. And uh, quite surprisingly, we didn't found, uh, this, this study didn't found uh, uh, evidence of, uh, of scarcity. Uh, at the opposite, since that extraction and uh, natural resources in the past, it has been uh, uh, easier and easier. But the problem is, aside of, of the fact that capital is a problematic variable because of the higher aggregations that it required, is that this is looking a bit in the past for scarcity. So the idea is that if we have here uh, the extraction cost and here we have the stock, the idea is that we, if we have a, a linear relationship like this, we can see on the past what happens here. We can see that prices are increasing and hence we can say, oh, in the future we are reaching a level of scarcity. But sometimes it depends on the kind of resources. Sometimes these relations is not linear. We, we have that in the past the extraction cost doesn't really grow much with uh, uh, with scarcity and then suddenly they increase a lot so if we have a situation like this one looking at the past will not guarantee us that we have few resources left for the future that is what we want to know uh, with this with the concept of, of scarcity and other indicator of scarcity that we may be tempted to use is to look instead of extraction cost to look to cost for discovery new uh, new resources this indicator in theory is um, it would be very uh, a very good indicator it would be reflect very directly the, the idea of scarcity as a, a resource that become harder and harder to to find and uh, uh, the um, more the resources scarce more it become ans expensive to to look for new uh, new deposits the problem however of this indicator is that companies are not obliged to publish uh, uh, data about their exploitation, their uh, uh, exploration cost. So they, we don't actually have any time series uh, uh, of uh, this cost for uh, discovering new resources. Instead, what it is uh, uh, widely used as indicator of scarcity at the end is just looking at the market price of uh, resources. The idea here is uh, related to what we we saw in our model that if you remember if you have here and here time here the level of resource extracted each year and here the price the idea is that uh, in uh, optimal usage the price would increase and when the price increase to a link to the demand functions we will have uh, an indicator of how scarce this resource is uh, is becoming well this has some advantages compared with the previous indicators is that market prices for uh, natural resources are uh, uh, available without without problems and we have a long term uh, time series uh, however we, we have the problem what we saw in the in the previous slices prices are uh, distorted because uh, there are uh, taxes subsidies uh, and so on so uh, custom uh, uh, so they are not the the gross, uh, they are not the net price of the resource. Further, it's what we would need here to grow what uh, the hotel rules tell us 
that is going is the net price, but the net, but what we observe, uh, the market price is influenced by the uh, extraction cost uh, uh, on, on plus of the taxes and so on. And uh, uh, what, because we need a real, real prices, also real prices, real prices depend on the specific choice of the deflector that we use to convert the observed current price to real prices. Still, uh, using uh, uh, market price is the uh, most widely used indicator of, of scarcity. So at the end, our natural resources becoming scarce. Well, if you look at the majority of early studies on this subject, we observe that in general, these studies do not support a general uh, uh, idea of scarcity for, uh, uh, for, for non-renewable resources and more in general for, uh, for natural resources. Uh, the opposite, uh, as we saw often, the uh, technology to extract uh, these resources become uh, it is such that uh, uh, it becomes cheaper uh, rather than more expensive to, to, to extract uh, natural resources. However, if we take in particular a focus on the more recent studies, we see that this idea of scarcity of natural resources is starting to appear more and, and, and more. Uh, however, it's not much concerning about uh, non-renewable resources, the, the, the problem. What the new, s most recent studies uh, highlight is that the problem is rather with uh, uh, renewable resources, paradoxically, than the non-renewable non ones. The idea is that non-renewable resources uh, arrive to, uh, to uh, give rise to a problem of scarcity pretty gradually and so hence there is time <coughs> to switch to something uh, uh, that able to, to substitute uh, while for, no, for renewable resources and in particular case for those of open access, those where uh, there is no rights of property so everyone can be served to and, and use the renewable uh, resources. We have um, a big problem of, of scarcity because this can happen pretty quickly, the exhaustion of the resource. And we will see this uh, more in general, uh, more in detail, sorry, when we will speak on the last uh, uh, lesson of renewable resources. But the problem is linked to the fact that for many renewable resources, its variation in stock depends from the stock itself of the resource and more the resource uh, is becoming uh, uh, exhausted, smaller it becomes also its natural capacity to regenerate. And hence, when we move through our the scarcity here, we have a problem that becomes uh, uh, quicker and quicker. So when we approach the low value of the stock, then the stocks go down even more quicker and we will see this one why in details why this is a big problem with uh, uh, the open access and we call it the tragedy of the commons.